Wait, which operating system is worse than Windows 8? Yeah. Hello, Windows Express. Today I'm going to talk about Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 because the difference is so small that I put it in one video. And we're going to test it and we're going to give some information about it. Okay, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. It is both developed by Microsoft. It is used for PC, tablets and laptops. The release of manufacturing date was on August 1, 2012 and release in general was on October 26, 2012. For Windows 8.1 was the release of manufacturing date August 27, 2013 and the general available release October 17, 2013. Windows 8 is not supported uh, since 2016, but you can still use Windows 8.1. It is supported till January 10, 2023. Here is the startup tune of Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. And the exactly same shutdown. But how does Windows 8 develop? Well, Windows 8 was it started to develop in 2009 when Windows 7 was released. It wants support for ARM processors. And finally they announced on June 1, 2011 that Windows 8 will come. Some beta releases were uh, released in 2012, so some test release. So to show you the preview of Windows 8 of the new modern operating system, they released some beta versions. And the first noticeable thing on Windows 8 is there is no start button. And that was the biggest problem because yeah, where you can find the menu of your screen. And it was also a big step from Windows 7 to have no start. And yeah, it was more like a tablet mode because of uh, the lot of bugs. They decided to make a second edition of Windows 8. It's not Windows 9, but Windows 8.1. And it's a major update of Windows 8 itself. Okay, the tiles of the applications are in the start menu. When you open up Windows 8, you see the first noticeable thing of the modern user interface, the tiles of the start menu. There was no start button and uh, a lot of users, yeah, annoyed of that because, yeah, you have to um, click on the edge. They also introduced the Internet Explorer 10. There uh, is also a chance bar that's on the other side of the screen and you can see uh, the time and you can go to the settings over there. There are no Air Aero Glass team, which, which you see in Windows Vista and Windows 7. Uh, yeah, it was just the basic color of uh, what, you can, what you can choose at the beginning. Uh, applications are updated and are more tablet friendly. Now, well, what's the difference between Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. There was no uh, big difference between that two, but yeah, the most important thing is that the start button is back at the test bar, which you see at uh, when you are going to your desktop, you can see uh, the, ta yeah, the start button at the test bar. And when you click on it, you go to the menu as you can also do at Windows 8. There is also a new feature in the lock screen, which have better privacy, privacy statements. And uh, Windows 8.1 was free to upgrade. If you had Windows 8, it was free to upgrade it. Windows 8 was also more uh, designed for mobile devices, so not for desktop computers as this. What are the system requirements of the operating system? Actually, they are the same of the Windows 7. You need a processor of 1 GHz and a random ASUS memory of 2 and a storage of 20 GB. 
and yeah it's mostly used for tablets so a uh, device where uh, yeah they recommend it to uh, use that on the tablets or on the touchscreen laptop the additions are windows rt windows 8 windows 8 with bing windows 8 professional and windows enterprise they are all also the same as windows 8 at one so one RT. Uh, well, the reception of the operating system was, uh, yeah, very bad because they think that uh, they do not uh, get used to the modern user interface, and they uh, keep keep on uh, using Windows 7. And some apps had no function. It was an experiment to, yeah, have that modern user interface but they uh, they think that some applications had no function at all yeah they decided to upgrade windows 8 to windows 8.1 and they uh, removed some applications and the reception of windows 8.1 was better they still um, do not like the uh, tile menu start menu so yeah windows was working for that and there were some some privacy problems in Windows 8. Okay, we're gonna test this on the computer. Okay, here we are on the Windows 8.1 uh, desktop screen, and you see the start button is over here, but when you push on it, it had no sub menu but you're going to this block system tile system of yeah windows 8 and uh yeah you see that's a lot of a big change in composite with windows 7 so yeah but let's see which applications are in windows 8.1 you can check your mail in it and when you have uh yeah an application open you can go here in the corner for your start button. Here you can go to desktop and that is very annoying when you want to select something on the left corner of your screen. So I recognize the problem of that. Uh, I have to log in to my email so I'm not gonna do that. And you have also the charms bar I'm gonna show you. When you click here you can go to settings and search things up. Okay, you see uh, a couple of news items and um, person Skype. Skype was uh, also uh, an upcoming trend. Uh, you can go to the desktop, you can also go to there and to uh, yeah, some applications. Just the same as Windows 7, the um, file manager. And you can go to downloads, you can go to yeah, wherever you want and you can search things up. Uh, yeah, a couple of updates, so the Iro Glass team is not here. Uh, you have documents, uh, pictures, you can go to yeah, file manager and to settings. You have settings also in a new couple of modern use interface. And uh, I remember I uh, prefer to use the control panel and still do because I don't like this. And yeah, they put in Windows 10 this in one program, just settings. And what I also liked to do was to design your own, uh, yeah, Windows 8 tablets because it was really nice to have, yeah, the background. It was so colorful and cheerful. I liked it. So, yeah, I also, uh, yeah, change the backgrounds uh, very often. So, okay, we're going back to settings. Yeah, a lot of uh, OneDrive functions here are uh, coming. Uh, your account, mostly of the accounts are coupled with your email and uh, that's also new. Okay, we're back on the desktop and you see when you pick uh, this program, the desktop will disappear in the program. That's not by all because when you uh, open uh, the file manager or Internet Explorer, there are no problems at all. Uh, you have the, just, uh, yeah, just the window over here. Um, you have more applications, the tablet mode uh, applications are more for uh, yeah, full screen applications like I said with the settings. You have also the video, what's called by Xbox Video. 
apparently. Games, uh, camera. Oh, you also got camera. Uh, I like to do that with your laptop. I was just like making photos and making fun with it. And you see also the applications are opened here, but it is not like uh, the file manager or Internet Explorer. OneDrive, the store, was also a new feature, so you can um, so you can download uh, applications. And I also knew there was uh, applications called Windows Nostalgia, and I opened that, and that was a really good, cheerful beat. Uh, maybe was that the reason why I started up Windows Expert? Because what about uh, looking at the store of Microsoft? Let's see where of that app is still available, which I used when I was uh, younger. I oh yeah, old Windows version. This was the application I I just installed when I was younger, and it was a boost for Windows Expert. I see in that way. Uh yeah, another things you can also go to Maps, but yeah, everyone knows. Everyone uses just Google Maps. Okay, YouTube uh, just uh, work. We're going to Windows. This is my video, and I'm gonna search it up. Uh, really great. Oh yeah, and when you uh, click on this arrow, you see all the applications you have on your computer. So if you bought a new game, it is in the list right here. Like I don't know, roller coasters by the R. Oh, we can also open Paint. It is just the same as Windows, uh, Windows 7. And I save it. Uh, is there something else that I like to see? Yeah, the Windows Media Player is just the same as, uh, as normal. It is just the same as Windows 7. It's not been updated. Yeah, you have uh, video, but that's really bad. Okay. Uh, I think Windows 8 was uh, yeah, a really big change for the people over then and I knew that also because yeah, it was, I used it also um, I think in 2003 and got my first uh, notebook and there was Windows 8 on it and yeah it was a really big change and I get used to that after a year but yeah Windows 10 came back and yeah that was I think better. I think this uh, is a really funny operating system we all can uh, remember as uh, our worst change. But I like it. Okay, thanks for watching to this video. I hope you liked it, and I hope to see you in the next video and also the last video, Windows 10 in 2020. So goodbye.